Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. Well, hello, guys. Every one of you, welcome once again to the class. Well, on Wednesday and Thursday, well, actually yesterday, I had some technical issues, but I finally um, fixed them. So we're back here, and it's really nice to see you once again. Thank you very much for taking part of your time and be connected to this video conference. So. As you know, guys, we just have uh, today's class and the last one that we are going to have on Monday. So, but my question right now, can everyone listen to me? So, is it? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay, good. Thank you. So, um, today's class and the last one is going to be on Monday. So with that, we're going to complete the, the module, okay? So um, I don't know if the people that is already here in, in this conference, did you complete the exercises already? The platform is completed? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Yes, teacher. Okay, because yes. I was checking yesterday, still some people were trying to do the last exercises, I'm, guess, I'm guessing. But, um, well, it is what it is. So as usual, guys, you know that we are going to, uh, to have a, a brief review before going to today's class. I know that we have like two days off or without a class. So what do you guys remember about the last class? What was the last class about? The rules, teacher, uh, the articles, and the zero article. Yeah. The zero article, okay. Um, do you remember how do we use some? How do we use that, guys? Hello, Hello teacher. Hello. Yes. The, the article, uh, some, mm -hmm. any, the article, any, we can use it when, with a negative sentences. With negative sentences. Okay. What else? There's some con positive sentences. With positive sentences. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, some some articles have rules, yeah. Okay. Is there or are there any exceptions that you might remember? Yes, teacher. Um, you you said um, that, uh, for example, um, exception use some in question when offering or requesting, uh, for example, 
uh, tenemos la pregunta, we have the question, would you like some bread mm -hmm. uh, offer? Que es, está ofertando, ¿verdad? Y, que, y la otra pregunta, could I have some water request? Okay, very good. So, can I, uh, do, do I have any other exception with any or something? Uh huh. Me teacher. Uh huh. Well, what's that? Mm -hmm. uh, exception. Mm -hmm. uh, with the name of the meal. Uh huh. What happened with that? Ajá, al parecer ya no se recuerdan de nada. Two days and we don't remember. So, okay. So, let me see. Let me give you an example to see if you remember or not. Let me see. I'm just trying to get. Okay, let me see. Teacher, I remember that you mm -hmm. said that, uh, for example, when, lo voy a explicar en español. Mm -hmm. <laughs> que, por ejemplo, el any, ¿verdad? Se utiliza para negativo y preguntas. Mm -hmm. Pero no exactamente, no, si la palabra o la oración no dice no, no significa que no puede llevar el any, sino que mm -hmm. va a depender del contexto que dice algo negativo, entonces sí podemos meter el any, aunque es la, la pregunta no lleve el, el no, o que se vea como positiva pues, en la escritura, sino que va a depender de lo que haga referencia. Y usted nos mostró un, un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Que dice, I refused to give him any money. Uh -huh. O sea, y me niego a darle dinero. O sea, no está la palabra que dice, no le voy a dar dinero, pero está refiriéndose a que algo negativo y eso. Okay, thank you very much. That's very good. Let me see. Uh, let me let me send you some. Let me see. Yo quería mm -hmm. decir de Sam um, que se puede utilizar para ofrecer algo a alguien en en una pregunta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. So uh, thank you very much, Adriana. I send you two sentences through the chat. Can you guys tell me which one is the correct and which one is not? So for example, if uh, number one is not correct for you, please write one, no, two, yes. I need you to do that right now. So it's my, it's for me to see if you really understood when we saw the articles. So can you please guys do that right now on the chat? Teacher, please repeat, please. Okay, so as you can see, I sent you two sentences through the chat. Those two sentences, you will have to tell me which one is correct and which one is not. If you think that both are correct, so type one, yes, to yes but if you think that both are incorrect just type one no to no okay okay teacher all right i already got cecilia and rodrigo I got Adriana, Jenny Sanchez, Lisette, okay. 
Luis saying, okay, Jacqueline, Alejandra Cristina, Verónica Galvez. What about the other ones? Que hay de los demás chicos. Okay, Alba, I can see Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie, okay, very good. Alba, thank you, okay. Catherine, via Mariona, okay. All right, so I think that we got pretty much everyone everyone's answer. So let me see, I will need uh, Rodrigo. Can you tell me, Rodrigo, why do you think number one is no correct? Uh, the number one is not correct because you are using the apostrophe in the word Ilopango state and this, so no, I, this. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me see. I will need Adriana. Este, bueno, en la primera oración solo se está refiriendo al lago de Ilopango. Mm -hmm. que, uh -huh. Entonces, este, en la segunda es un dato en general, porque, mm -hmm. pues, uh -huh, no es. Bueno, según en la, en el, en la presentación, eh, si nos referíamos a los los countables y los incountables, cuando mm. nos estamos refiriendo al, al uso en general. Ok. All right. That's good. Good point. Let me see Cecilia. Why do you think number one is not correct? Uh, the same. The same. Uh, lo mismo que dijo Rodrigo. Uh, por el apóstrofe, la ubicación del apóstrofe. Y la segunda, pues, según las reglas, eh, no. Correct. Ajá, no es, es incontable el, el agua, entonces no va el, el artículo. Ok, what do you think, Rufino? At this moment, I, I understand. Ok, uh, let me see. Luis Enrique, I see that you said both are correct. Why do you think both are correct? I, th I think in number one, uh, we can use that uh, sentences and uh, we can understand that means. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think we, we need to use that uh, uncountable or countable. Okay. But in this case, we, we, we can use or not in number one and number two we use un like uncountable mm -hmm. because is important resource there there is not a specific name or noun uh -huh. for that reason okay uh let me see let me see the answers alba Alba Saavedra, why are you saying that both of them are correct? Alba? Um, and the number one is talk about a uh, general. Mm -hmm. And the number two, uh, uh, no, uh, uh, in the one, no, is in a, in the number two, it's generally, it's around generally the water. It, we can use an article. And the number one is is talking about the specific because, for uh, eso no utiliza el artículo. Okay. I understand that. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So guys, here we go with explanation. Y la respuesta es, both of them are correct. Both. Why? Number one, 
como Alba dijo, we are talking Ooh. about a specific place. We're saying Ilopangos Lake. So, podemos util utilizar el artículo the. In number two, we use, ¿qué es lo que usamos? ¿Cómo lo llamamos? General. Ah. Zero article. Zero article. We call it zero article because we're talking about something in general. And that's the reason why we cannot say the water is an important resource. So it means that both of them are correct, okay? So pay attention to those little details that sometimes can get you confused. So guys, for today's class, we're going to talk about uh, countable and non-countable nouns. Now or today, we're going to see some rules or some things that probably, um, some of you already know them, or probably some of you do not. So we're going to see that today. And obviously, uh, this is the first part that we have. We're going to start, guys, with the countable nouns. And I want to tell you that when we refer about countable nouns, we can say that countable nouns are things that we can obviously count. Se llaman contables porque evidentemente los podemos contar, right? So we have an example. We can say a dog, five pencils, two pencils, three dogs, and so on and so on. We can also, guys, say that countable nouns can be singular or plural. We have these two examples right here. Rodrigo, can you help me reading these two examples, please? This one's okay. right here. Okay. My best friend is a very intelligent girl. Mm -hmm. My two brother, my two other friends are good at the sport. Okay, so as you can see, what is the, the countable noun there? Friend. So yes. it is saying, that we can use the same countable noun in singular or plural. The first one, we're just talking about one person. We're saying my best friend, just one person. But when we talk about Pluto, we're saying my two other friends. All right, so one countable noun can be used in singular or in plural. So let me see. Uh, Tatiana Pleites, can you please help me reading this part? Tatiana? Well, I think she's not there. Norma Marbelli. Okay. Can be used you see with a, a fan? A girl, the numerals. Mm -hmm. Sorry, no, no veo bien. <laughs> okay, I will read it then. Don't worry. So it says that we can use guys countable nouns with A and N. What's that? Uh, articles, right? We already know that those are articles. We can also okay. use the, we can say a girl or an elephant, or we can say, we can use the article da, we can say da girl. We can also use numerals or numbers in this case, when we refer to a countable noun, we can say two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. We can also use some, any, many, how many, a lot of, or a few. We will see some examples right below. Let me see. Um, Jacqueline, can you help me reading the questions, please? Okay, teacher. Just no questions. Mm -hmm. Are there any 
seats. How many seats are there? Okay, thank you very much. Now, let me see Lisette Montoya, help me read in the affirmative sentences. Uh, there are some seats. There are a few seats. There are a lot of seats. Mm -hmm. There are too many seats. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So these ones, guys, the ones that we see here, such as a few, a lot of, or too many, in English, we call them quantifiers. See? ¿Sí? Le llamamos quantificadores. For example, in the, in the number one, it says, there are some seats. What do you guys understand by that sentence? Algunos. Algunos. Okay, what about there are a few seats? Pocos. 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 Okay. What about there are a lot of seats? Muchos. Muchos. And too Muchos. many? And Muchos. there are too many? Demasiados. Demasiados. Okay, it's good. Thank you very much. Stephanie Figueroa, help me reading the negative sentences, please. Negative. There aren't any seats. There aren't many seats. And there are no seats. Okay, so here we go. It says that for the affirmatives, we can use some, a few, a lot of, and too many. But as we remember last time, we are always going to use any for the negatives, as you can see here. Also, many by itself, it can also be used in the negative place. We can use the zero negation, la negación cero que le llamamos. We, as you can see, no agregamos, no hacemos, eh, no lo juntamos, no lo abreviamos. We just say, there are no seats. That's it. So with this information about the countable nouns that we just saw, guys, is there any question? Okay. I no, think that... no, teacher. All right. So let's move on then with the uncountable nouns. We can say, guys, that the uncountable nouns are going to be things that we cannot count, but obvious reasons. So when you say uncountable, it's because you cannot count that, even though... In Spanish, we could think that we can count them, but that's not completely true in English. So let's find out. We have some examples such as water, because we cannot count water. Light, friendship. For example, another very important or particular um, characteristic about uncountable nouns is that they cannot have uh, plurals they can only be singular that's why it says here are only singulars examples we have chocolate chocolate makes you happy Will be correct if I say chocolates makes you happy? What do you guys think? In this case, teacher, I'm I'm have clear. What what do you have clear? Eh, la, la parte en la que porque digamos el chocolate no puede o sea para mí es algo que no lo puedo que no lo puedo contar de contabilizar uh -huh. Uh -huh. pero en si lo si lo tomamos como una en este caso como una barra de chocolate tampoco se puede contar ok um, in, in that case estamos hablando de medidas y cuando nos referimos a contar, cuando decimos contar, 
nos referimos a la porción, es decir, a, al, a, a la cosa. I don't know if you, no, no sé si me doy a entender. Cuando decimos, por eso les decía, es importante prestar atención a los detalles porque para nosotros, nuestra lógica a veces puede decir, ok, tengo tres chocolatitos así chiquititos y como son chocolates, yo los veo los tres, los puedo contar. Esa es la que nuestra lógica nos dice, pero en sí el producto o la cosa tal como el chocolate en inglés es forma parte de un uncountable nouns. Por lo tanto, como se va a tomar el sabor. Eh, exactamente. El sabor no lo podemos contar. Mm -hmm. Exactamente. Sí. Mm -hmm. So um, moving on with that. It says that we can also use some quantifiers with uncountable nouns, such as some, a little, a lot of can be used in countable and non-countables, in too much, okay? So let me see, Jenny, please. Can you help me reading the yes or no questions? Yes, no question. Is there any milk? How much milk is there? Thank you very much. Adriana, Marcela, help me read in the affirmative, please. Uh, affirmative, there is some milk. There is a little milk. Uh, there is a lot of milk. There is too much milk. Okay, thank you very much. And the last part, let me see. Um, Cecilia Melgar, please help me read in the negative forms or the negative sentences. The negative sentence. Um, there isn't any milk. Mm -hmm. There isn't much milk. There is no milk. Okay, thank you very much. One thing, guys, that I need you to see that in los countable, podemos utilizar too many. Pero no son countables, en vez de utilizar many, vamos a utilizar much. Also, for the negative, la palabra sí sola, en vez de decir, si se fijan acá en countable, dice there aren't many seats. Pero no son countables, it says there isn't much milk. See, ¿Sí? we're going to, it's very important for you to check those differences that we can have. So if there is no questions, guys, let's move on and let's see what we have. It says that countable and on, um, some words actually can be used in both. Algunas palabras pueden utilice, ser utilizados tanto como countable and non-countables. And we are going to see some examples so you can understand a little bit. So we have some here like item, cake, chicken, and time. These words that we have right here can be used in both. Can be countable and uncountable, but as it says here, with a difference in meaning. Okay, so how is going to be that difference? Como podemos saber la diferencia? Uh, for example, if you said, um, we have a lot of chicken at home, is that acting as countable and non or non-countable? What do you guys think? If I say, there is a lot of chicken at home. It's a countable because you use a lot of Ok, volvemos a lo mismo. A lot of puede ser utilizado en contable e incontable. ¿Cómo sabemos que lo, si lo que dije fue contable o incontable? Fácil. Ya, yeah, teacher, ya. Yeah. With the verb be. Mm. Well, you say is o you, you say are. I said is. There is a lot of chicken. So is, is. Creo que no se fijaron en eso, ¿verdad? Aquí dice 
que los incontables solo pueden ser singular. Por lo tanto, sabemos que para el singular, usando el verbo to be, utilizamos is. Y si yo digo is y no digo are, como aquí, there are, automáticamente ustedes deben de saber que me estoy refiriendo a singular. Por lo tanto, aunque tenga a lot of, me estoy refiriendo a un uncountable noun. ¿Sí me entendieron? Disculpe, teacher, lo puede repetir. Ok. La oración era, There is a lot of chicken at home. ¿Sí? Si se fijan acá, acá mismo tienen la respuesta. Dice que los contables pueden ser tanto plural como singular. En este caso, los incontables siempre van a ser singular. Si yo dije, there is a lot of chicken at home, porque estoy utilizando there is, y porque el pollo puede, eh, aunque estoy utilizando a lot of, que donde la mayoría se confundió y pensaron que era incontable. Contable, perdón. Porque se acordaron quizás de esta parte acá. Si se fijan acá, chicos, en el contable, estamos utilizando la mayor parte del tiempo. Plurals. But in uncountables, we can only or we are always going to use singulars. So that's one of the main reasons or that's the, the thing that is going to let you know. Eso va a ser lo que les va a hacer saber a ustedes cuándo va a ser contable o incontable. Sí, Adriana, do you want to say something? Sí, o sea que cuando digo there is, aunque a lo que me está refiriendo sí sea contable, pero no es necesario decir cuántos kilos o cuántos pollos tengo en la casa. Entonces, lo que quiere decir there is es de que... Es singular. Eh, es singular, ajá. No necesito decir la cantidad. Mm -hmm, exactly. Sí. Or, yo podría decir there are a lot of chicken at home. En ese caso... ¿Qué creen que estoy diciendo? Contable. Estoy hablando en plural. Contable or uncountable. Contable. There are Contable. a lot of chicken at home. Contable. Contable. ¿Por qué? Because you use there are. We use are and mm -hmm. aunque si se fijan Dije chicken, no dije chickens. ¿Sí? Esas pequeñas cositas, chicos, son las que nos van a, a enseñar o, o lo que nos va a dar la respuesta para saber cuándo va a ser contable o incontable. Y entonces ¿Sí? es incorrecto. Lo que forma que lo dijo es incorrecto, teacher. Which one? ¿Cuál es incorrecto? Yo creo que no, porque está hablando en plural. Justo cuando dice there are, aunque el, porque la palabra se puede usar chicken tanto en contable como en incontable. Exacto. Y ahí venimos a lo que acabamos de decir. Hay palabras que pueden ser utilizadas en las dos con la diferencia que cuando tú las dices el significado cambia. Sí, y aquí tenemos chicken. Por lo tanto, si yo digo there are chicken or a lot of chicken at home or if I say there is a lot of chicken at home las dos están correctas porque en una está siendo contable y en otra incontable ¿sí? Are we clear guys? Hoy sí, teacher Okay, so tenemos una lista, we have a list de palabras que pueden ser utilizadas en ambos sentidos. Y quiero que se enfoquen más que todo en estas, porque estas a veces son las más complicadas de entender, guys. 
For example, we have chocolate. Chocolate can be countable and non countable. Sometimes. Si sí, existe, hay veces, en ciertos, en, en ciertos sentidos gramaticales, lo puedo utilizar como contable, pero generalmente se usa más como incontable. Coffee, salmon, fruit, chicken, and I repeat it once again, coffee. But here we can see estas palabritas, tenemos que recordarnos, we have to remember that we can, both, we can use it in both ways. It means that I can use them as countable and as non-countable, okay? Are we clear there? Well, nobody said anything. So we just have a reminder here, guys, un recordatorio about what we just saw last time, right? We, do you remember that we saw A and some and any and zero article? So here we have a, a brief review or a brief reminder for you about the usage of these four articles. Remember, for the positives, we need countable, we can use an apple or some apples. When you refer to uncountable, you can use some butter and milk. When we refer to the negatives, we have to use a or n according to the to what you already know. De acuerdo a lo que ustedes ya saben, las reglas. And Of course, because when we have a negative, we will always have to use any. And when we talk about uncountables, as you remember, always using any. What about in questions? In questions, guys, we, we most of the time, we're going to use any. Do you remember that? Si ¿Sí recordamos eso? Yes, teacher. Okay. Perfect. So this is just a brief reminder for you to remember what we saw. So let's move on to the use of how much. How do we use how much or what does how much mean? ¿Qué significa how much? How do I use it? Cuánto. 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 Okay. So it means cuánto with the difference, con la diferencia que lo vamos a utilizar únicamente con Uncountable nouns, siempre, uncountable nouns. For example, we have, how much water do you drink? How much water do you drink? We have the possible answers. We can say, I drink a lot of water. I drink quite a lot. I don't drink much water or not much. I don't drink any water. So as you can see, we're using quantifiers and at the same time, we are using or we are understanding how to make questions with how much plus an uncountable noun. Is this part clear, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, All right. teacher. So how many? Obviously, we are going to use it with countable nouns. It also means, también significa cuánto, but obviously we're going to use it with countable. So we say, how many students do you have? If someone asks me that question, I could say, I have 19 students. Or I can say, can I say I have some students? ¿Les, pare, ¿Les parecería correcto, chicos, si yo respondiera a esa pregunta con I have some students? Does it sound correct to you? No, teacher. Why not? No. Because it's countable. And you can, I uh, can you say there are uh, 15 or 10 students, I think. <laughs> I don't know. 
Okay, if I say, let me see, how many students do you have? I have 19. I have. So it will be better to say the number instead of using some. Siento que nos estamos perdiendo, chicos. If you are not understanding, just let me know. Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. I think uh, is if you are asking by students, how many students do you have? The correct way, I think, mm -hmm. you must be to answer the number, five mm -hmm. students, because uh -huh. the how many is countable. Countable, yeah, that makes sense. Yes, why? Because when we're talking about something countable, cuando hablamos de algo contable, evidentemente es algo que podemos contar, ¿sí? We can count. So the best answer will be, I have 19 students. That will be a really good answer, yeah? So let's move on. Here we have the use of some quantifiers. So let me see, um, Rodrigo, can you please help me reading this part? A lot of, we use a lot of in affirmative and negative sentence and, mm -hmm. uh, and in question with both countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, can you read examples please? Examples, I eat a lot of fish. Mm -hmm. I drink a lot of milk. Okay, thank you very much. Chicos, ¿quién me puede decir cuál es el countable, el cuál es el non-countable or uncountable? El uncountable is I drink a lot of milk and the, and the first one is countable. Excellent. Yes, that's right. Uncountable. When we say milk, that's uncountable. When we talk about fish, that's countable. Thank you very much. Let me see. Um, Lisette, please help me reading this part. We use much in negative sentences and questions with uncountables now. We never use much in affirmative sentences. Mm -hmm. Examples, I don't eat much salt. Mm -hmm. Do you eat much salt? Mm. And B, mm -hmm. a lot of can also be used in this case. I don't eat a lot of salt. Do you eat a lot of salt? Thank you very much. So it says, guys, the, the quantifier much, we can use it only for the negative sentences and for the questions. And how are we going to know if that is correct? Como vamos a ver si está correcto, podemos sustituir much for a lot of y va a tener el mismo sentido. So the, the meaning of the sentence will not change. Okay, so Jenny, can you please help me read in many? We use many in negative sentence and questions with mm -hmm. countable nouns. Example, I don't eat many cakes. Mm -hmm. Do you have many books? MBA, lot of can also be used in this case. I don't eat a lot of cakes. Do you have a lot of books? Thank you very much. As you can see, guys, los dos tienen un uso similar. ¿Cómo vamos a ver cuándo utilizar uno y cuándo el otro? Simple. Uno con countables y el otro con uncountables. That's it. We can also, también con many, we can also uh, know if it is correct by substituting the word many by the word or the quantifier a lot of. So we can check if that is correct. So according to this, is there any question that you may have? Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, in, in this case, the money, uh, 
a dónde le colocamos el dinero? En much o en many. Okay, money is an uncountable noun. So when you say, how much money do you have? That's what you ask. ¿Cuánto dinero tienes? ¿Por qué en inglés es tomado como incontable, chicos? Porque, dado al, 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 al uso de que tú no puedes saber cuánto en sí tiene una persona. Una persona te puede responder, decir, tres dólares, o una persona te puede responder con nada. So that's why, es por eso que en inglés es tomado como uncountable. It's not possible to say, how many money do you have? You cannot say that. No es posible decir eso. Al menos que tú te refieras a algo específico y que estés hablando solo de dólares. How many dollars can say that? Sí podemos decir eso porque nos estamos refiriendo solo a dólares. Pero en sí, el dinero en general, como tal, es uncountable. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. So, do we have questions, guys? Because this is it, or at least for today. So, we're going to have some practices. So, before the practices, I need to know, or I need you to tell me, if you have questions so we can check that information again. Teacher, mm -hmm. how do you say NB? N dot B dot. NB. Eso, eso, es NB. Esa NB que está ahí, ¿qué quiere decir? Esa, Which esa. Uh, por lo que tenía el Las siglas MBA, teacher. And, and um, that's and the many. Después, después de los ejemplos. NBA. NBA. Ahí, ahí, por ahí, donde tiene el cursor. No, abajo. Donde dicen examples. Ajá, abajo de examples. Dice NB, a lot of can. All. Eso, eso, eso. ¿Qué quiere oh, decir? Oh, this one. It, that's a contraction of notice, uh, of notice, notice below. It's como oh. notice abajo, uh, una información extra. Oh. Notice below, que oh. son siglas nada más como contractadas. Mm -hmm. Gracias. All right. So any other question, guys? Okay. No questions. So here we have the first practice, guys, about um, countable and not countable. So please, you already know what to do. So when you do that, just let me know so I can move. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. And these ones, guys, first, the first thing that you will have to do is just fill these spaces, fill them, fill them out, llenar los espacios in blank, and then make the conversation, okay? Puede poner la primera, teacher, por Okay. Teacher. Sorry. Yes. Este, may you send us the presentation by the chat to the WhatsApp, please? Uh, this one, you mean? The, the, like uh, the another classroom the, by how, how uh, before you, you send the, the presentation of the class. Uh, do you but, but this presentation you mean? Uh, all, all this class, oh, the last one or this class, this class, 
Oh, this one. Okay, yeah. Yes. Do you mean right now? Thank you. No, right now? No, it, it could be of the class. Oh, okay, okay, like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes, no yeah, problem. Thank you. All right, so I think that we're done with that. So please, guys, we're going to go to the workout rooms. And once again, guys, please try to speak in English as much as you can. Please try to do that. So go ahead and join your rooms. La pen. Sí. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yeah. This meeting is being recorded. Um, no, is there? There isn't. There is. Is there? No. Is there any butter? Yes. <laughs> is there any butter? Hay mantequilla. Le damos yes or no? No. There isn't or yes. There is. Compañeros? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, there is. Okay, number three. Mushrooms. What is mushrooms? Vamos a buscar qué es. Number three. Mushrooms. What is? Hongos. Hongos. Like a pizza. Uh-huh, okay, 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 thanks. Um, okay, um, this is um, countable, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, and then are, are there any mushrooms? Mushrooms? Verdad? Yes. Uh, so it's not some. It's not because it's countable. Pero que en son no se utiliza para solo cuando es afirmativo, pues. Y el any se utiliza para negativo y pregunta. O me equivoco. Eh, está el teacher, pero preguntémosle para salir de duda. Teacher, are you there? Yes. Ah, ya nos escuchó el chambrecito. <laughs> okay. No, no, mire, este, mm -hmm. la duda es que los compañeros dicen que para pregunta también se utiliza son. 
We can use some. Se puede utilizar son, que no supuestamente son solo es para oración positiva. Y any para negativo y pregunta. There is where you have to put all the rules that we saw to understand if you're talking about something countable or something uncountable. If you know that that's countable or uncountable, that will give you the answer to that question. Okay, thanks. Vamos a revisarlo. Vaya compañeros, entonces la regué. A ver, busquemos entonces. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? La número dos es incontable, que es la mantequilla. Is there any or some? Any. Any. Gracias cuando, por ejemplo, es como, el, es como el agua. El agua es incontable, algo así viene siendo la cerveza. Las puedes mm -hmm. hacer contables si están en bolsas o en botellas. Pero no dice ahí bottle beer o back beer, no sé. Uh -huh. Probablemente sea incontable también. Incontable. Uh -huh. Sí, hay que ponerlo no sé así. Qué Ajá, no sé qué piensa. Uh -huh. Es que igual, o sea, sí, la cerveza es algo yuca porque como es bebida. Okay. Lisa, Lisa, wait. I have the ham sandwich and then Atutu A or An. A or A or Okay. Is, is there is there ice cream? Some. Así que va, is or, or are? Is this, is this possible? Mm. Is quest? I. Any. Creo que es. Any. Any. Eh. Uh, a lot of a lot of carrots because it's carrots plural. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sí. Uh, so are there are there uh, a lot of a lot of carrots? Mm -hmm. No. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> the as, as, this meeting uh, is being recorded. As you read the the indication, use any. No. Okay. Uh, I don't know why why we where where spend more, more time on this. Ajá, no, no problem. Ajá, entonces, are there any mushroom? Number four. Any... Beer. Beer is uncountable. Es cerveza. Beer. Entonces. Is any. any. Ajá. Are, are there mm. any beer? Is there any beer? It's the same, any. Entonces diría, no, there, there, there isn't. ¿O oh, qué dicen los demás? Beer. Uh, chica, compañera, pongan. Yes, isn't because it's singular. Like is, the, the answer is, is, yeah. Is the, yes. is, there. Is. Mm -hmm. And beer, creo que es, is, beer, creo que es, is, 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 there. is, is, igual, is, 
Estoy viendo el ejemplo de abajo de la segunda parte que dice bread. There is a new bread. Y bread es pan, pero ahí lo está, este, ¿cómo se dice? En singular, entonces viene casi siendo como el queso y la cerveza. No sé si me logran sí. entender. Sí, por eso les decía que, ajá, por ¿verdad? ejemplo, ajá, de carrots, porque viendo el primer ejemplo, ahí dice are there. Y uh -huh. el teacher dijo que en contable siempre, o sea, eran, un, él se le agregaba a ese porque está hablando de huevos. Uh -huh. En general, no de un huevo. Exacto. Uh -huh. Por eso en pensaba yo tuz, que creo en yo. el beer, cheese y lettuce sería is there. Ajá. Tiene sentido. Uh Okay, guys, how did you feel with those exercises? Were they difficult for you? Was it easy? Was it complicated? Or how do you feel? By the oh, most, it's very confusing. Confusing. Uh -huh. Why? Why is it confusing? In the use with countable or uncountable. We need to uh, memorize the all rules. Actually, you will need to memorize them, the majority of them. So um, I know it's a lot of information, but at the end, that is going to help you to get a better understanding. So I was checking some of you that were having troubles with the first exercises with words such as beer, mushroom, eggs, and things like that. So um, you will have still, well, that those exercises are going to be only if you want to practice. It's not a homework, it's just for you to practice if you want to practice, okay? So um, this is going to be all for today, guys. I don't know if you have any question or something. No, teacher, quizás que la, para la próxima clase tal vez entre todos respondamos los ejercicios porque varios nos confundimos. Of pues course, sí. we are going to do that. Tenemos la clase, teacher. Yes, yes, I will do it. I will do it. I will send it to you after the, yeah. after the class. Yes. Teacher. Siempre vamos a hacer el, el examen que dijo. We are going to have a brief, just brief uh, questions, unas pequeñas preguntitas, nada más. De ahí lo vamos a intentar hacer más práctico. ¿sí? Va a ser oral, entonces. It will be more practice. Let's say it like that. Práctica. Sí, no, no tengan miedo. Don't be scared. <laughs> okay, Jenny. Yes. Want to, you want to say something? No, no. no. Not. Okay, so see you guys on Monday. Lo vemos el lunes, right? At the same time, that is going to be our last class. So take care, guys. Have a good weekend and enjoy, okay? Good night, teacher. Thank you. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher.